everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is a fall luxury haul and i've added a few splurge worthy classic luxury items from sarah flint celine as well as burberry to really elevate my fall wardrobe so i'll be showing you guys what i got as well as how i plan on incorporating these new pieces into my everyday fall outfits so let's get into this video this video is kindly sponsored by Sarah Flint. So Sarah Flint is a brand that was created from a vision that shoes should not only be pretty to look at, but they should also be made with quality materials, great craftsmanship, and what is often overlooked, they should also be comfortable. So all Sarah Flint shoes are handmade in Italy and they are sold directly to you as the customer. So they're able to offer these shoes at prices that are 50 to 60% lower than other luxury brands because they don't have to go through wholesalers so i'm going to first unbox this blue box right here which is from sarah flint and this is part of a limited edition collaboration they're doing with a family-owned trimmings brand called samuel and sons inside the box we have there are these two cards over here this first one which has some details about the shoe that's inside the box and then the second card talks about this limited edition collection and it actually says that this is the fourth pair out of 150 pairs of this pair of shoes that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit and then here we have this cloth that says Sarah Flint on it and then inside here we have two dust bags so one and then two and let me just take the shoes out of these dust bags and i'll show you guys what they look like so here's the first one and then let me take out the second one so here we have the cognac twist suede pumps from this limited edition collaboration between Sarah Flynn and Samuel and Sons and this looks so amazing this trim on here really makes this pair of shoes so much more unique and really adds a bit of extravagant detail to the shoes it's a very nice contrast between this lighter color trim as well as this darker very rich cognac color this pair of shoes is in the 85 millimeter heel height and as part of this collection aside from this cognac suede pair there is another one in an olive suede that is almost exactly the same in look and there's also a navy suede pair that looks very similar but on top of this trim you also get this really pretty floral detail at the front over here now this is actually the second pair of their perfect pump that I own and the first one that I received was actually this pair in the 100 millimeter heel height in this beige nude color that is such a closet essential if you don't already have a pair of nude heels you definitely need to add a pair to your closet because honestly they go with everything and I really love that Sarah Flynn offers their shoes in multiple heel heights because not everyone has the same preference when it comes to how high of a heel you want. So on each pair of their Perfect Pump, on the inside, you do get this extra cushioning on the back over here, as well as on the arch of your foot, there is some extra padding there, which I haven't had any other pair of shoes, whether they're luxury or not, that have this similar type of padding. And it really adds so much extra comfort when you're wearing a pair of heels. And I love how Sarah Flint designed the perfect pump to have a V-shaped band in front because that just helps to elongate your legs, similar to the effect that you get from wearing a pointy toe pump. And I am a little bit on the short side, which is why I do love wearing heels. So I'll take all the help that I can get. This pair of shoes is so comfortable, especially for those who struggle to find great fitting shoes because they have wider feet. I personally do have wider feet myself. And what's great about this pair of shoes is that it's designed with a wider toe box. So your toes don't feel squished together in them. And the last thing that I really love about this pair of shoes is on the bottom, you do get this rubber sole that gives you a little more traction as you're walking. And I can't even count how many times I basically slid around in my heels because the bottom of it is just completely 
smooth with no grip whatsoever and yeah that's honestly not very safe especially in a pair of stiletto heels so i really think everything was so well thought out in this pair of shoes and for this pair of shoes as well as the pair in the 100 millimeter heel height i did get a size 6.5 in them and typically i am between a 6.5 to 7 in shoes so i would say that this does fit true to size and sarah flint did offer me a discount code to share with you guys so you can save 50 dollars off of your first purchase so i'll leave the discount code as well as the links to these two pairs of shoes listed in the description box below so next i'm going to unbox this much smaller item that I got from Celine and I've been really loving so much from Celine recently as you might know I recently did purchase the Pico belt bag and I really love that bag so much it's probably one of my most used bags at the moment so I've been looking at their website to see what else I am interested in and I decided to pick this up because it's kind of like one of those types of items that I've been thinking about for a long time so I don't know if you guys can guess what's inside but it's not actually a bag it's a different type of accessory so inside here we have the Celine dust bag of course and then inside the dust bag and there's also the booklet inside here as well and can you guys guess from the dust bag yet so inside is Ta -da! it's this really pretty belt from Celine and it is their Trium horse fit belt so this belt is just this really simple brown leather belt and then you do have this little horse fit detail with this Triumph logo here and you just hook it together and that's how it secures and I've been looking for a brown belt, specifically one with a kind of horse fit detail for so long. And I was initially considering to get the Gucci horse fit belt, but I didn't really like how you had to belt it up at the back. It just seemed kind of fussy and I can't really turn my arms towards the back that easily i'm not super flexible so i just thought that that would be such a hassle to put on all the time and for this belt you do have these little holes over here on either side where you can make the belt slightly tighter or slightly looser but if you had it set to whatever configuration corresponds with your waist size then this belt is so easy to take off and put on it just hooks on so simply and yes i just absolutely love this belt i think i like it more now that i have this in front of me than when i saw it online it was a little bit hard to picture what it would look like in real life but I can honestly say that I am so happy with this purchase. And now for this giant box down here from Burberry. So I don't even know if you guys can see the bottom of the box right now, but here it's really, really big and it's super heavy. So no, it's not a bag, but it is something that I've been wanting for so long now. It actually slipped my mind for a little bit, but then I remembered about it recently again and I just thought this is the year that I'm going to finally get this so if you've seen one of my earlier videos where I talked about items that I have multiples of in my collection then you might already know that I have quite a thing for Burberry trench coats so this is kind of a little bit different than your usual trench coat so inside this giant box is we have the Burberry garment bag inside and then we take this out of the box. I'm running out of space in front of me to put everything. And then inside this garment bag, I think it's gonna be a little bit hard to show you guys on camera like this because this is of course a coat and it is on the longer side. So it's gonna take up quite a bit of space, but you guys will see it styled in the clips later on. So in here, I have this gorgeous cashmere trench coat from Burberry. And this is, oh my gosh, so soft. It's 
the same type of softness on their cashmere scarves, which I do also have a thing for Burberry cashmere scarves. So yes, adding to my collection of items from Burberry is this really, really pretty trench coat. And I've been wanting a cashmere Burberry trench coat for so long now, probably since I bought my other two trench coats and that was about three years ago, I want to say. So somehow I kind of forgot about it for a little bit. I have bought other coats recently, but most of them are just wool coats. And don't get me wrong, I love my wool coats, but I just knew that I would love a cashmere trench coat from Burberry, no matter how many other coats that I have. So yes, I just had to get this and I absolutely love this. I can't stop touching this because it feels so nice. And I love how lightweight this is. I definitely think this will be very warm. I remember trying this on at their boutique a few years back and it was so warm. And what's great about cashmere is that it's, I find lighter than most wool coats are, but it does offer the same, if not more warm. So, oh my gosh, finally a cashmere Burberry trench coat. So that is it for this fall luxury haul and styling video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please do give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what items you've picked up or are thinking of picking up for this fall season. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single Thursday. And I'll leave two videos up on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.